Hello, my dear friends, I'm Kirill, and today we will take a look at the NASA Mars Rover Perseverance Legotechnic Set 42158. The set contains 1132 pieces and it has some interesting mechanisms. On the box we can see beautiful Mars landscape, the rover, drone, Mars logo, and on the back side, of course, we can see some functions and also some hints about augmented reality experience. And I've already unpacked this set, so now we will take a look at the instructions and we'll start the assembling process. This is the instruction book and here we have the same situation as in Skidder set. The instruction is the main frustration of the set. We have nothing in the beginning, no information, nothing about the real rover. It's really a shame because we have so many interesting related to space sets in LEGO, in LEGO Ideas, for example, and all the sets had a lot of interesting information. And now we have Technic set about unique machine that works uh, on other planet and we have here nothing. Yes, I know that if I open this application on a smartphone, I will find some information, but I think it must be here in the book, not somewhere in the application. At least we have one photo or render of the rover. Of course, it's very similar to the LEGO model, a lot of recognizable features and nothing. So that's all about the real rover in the instruction book, only this photo. Ah, I don't like it. And we have two small sticker sheets, one with kind of foil, or I don't know how we can call it, and one usual with lots of small stickers, but actually not too many stickers. I see only uh, number 12, maybe some of them are doubled, but yeah, not too many stickers in this set. And now it's time to take a look at the pieces. At the first stage we can see two 62 stone tables in white for the first time. Uh, before this set uh, these pieces were used only in black, but the second part is still in light bluish gray. Maybe it will be uh, more stylish if both of these pieces were in white color. Universal joints, uh, pieces for CV joint, also these gears and two friends style gears, lots of white connectors and also white panels, 3x7, 3x11, some white beams, frames, Excel connectors and common pieces like pins, of course, and axes. After the first stage we have a drone. It has one function, we can rotate blades to the same direction or to opposite direction. It has six stickers, one stickers on the top and five stickers here. It's a brick 2x2 two two and tile 2x2. Two two. And also we have this construction, two frames, two handles for additional functions. You can see universal joints here and CV joints here and the strange mechanism in the center. And also here we have half bushes in white. Uh, this piece uh, we used many years ago and now we have it again in the Technic line. It's cool for white models. It's very useful piece. 
The second step contains a lot of white pieces, actually almost all the pieces, almost all big pieces are white. Here we have panels of different types, one wheel arc, also connectors, frame, beams, one small linear actuator, a few gears, CV joints, these gear holders and other pieces are usual pins, nothing special here. So yeah, this set contains a lot of white pieces. Now we are somewhere in the middle of the second stage and we can take a look at mechanisms. The first handle controls the elevation, we will add worm reducer later. And the second can adjust angle of the boom, small actuator and here pretty nice construction, two, not two, four barrel gears and uh, this small actuator and this gear holder intercepts here and form pretty compact not reducer, but transmission. And now we will add this huge cover and it will be much harder to observe mechanisms. After the second stage we literally have white box. We have white cover here, white wall here, and here, and here, and I don't know what to show here one more mechanism added and I think we just will go to the pieces from the stage 3. And on the third stage we will add wheels, uh, a lot of uh, these gears and also universal joints, beams with perpendicular holes, 7 stud lawn, 11 stud lawn, by the way yeah in black, and also these corners also with perpendicular holes and of course new wheels. The diameter is about 50 millimeters, maybe a bit less. It looks like this wheel consists of two pieces, but they are connected together, maybe glued together, so it's impossible to separate these two pieces. Uh, of course these wheels are pretty <laughs> strange. We can use them maybe like gears, but I'm not sure. Very specific wheel, maybe we'll see these wheels in some system sets. I'm not sure about technic sets of course. And here we have six. After the previous step we had white box, now we have white box on wheels. We will take a look at the functions after the model will be finished, but now we can check the sound. The best Legotechnic set ever. And the last stage contains a lot of small pieces and also a lot of white pieces again. Here we have beams, different connectors and of course system pieces in white and not only in white. Here we have two gears, 36 tooth gear, 24 tooth gear, worm gear, steering wheel and this very special part. I'm not sure that I've ever seen it in LEGO, maybe it's a part of this joint. And yeah, we have only one step to finish our model. So this is our rover, now it's in a transport position, we can activate, I suppose, camera, we can rotate it, tilt, and so on. Here we have some details, white carrot and exhaust pipe, I think, of course. And here we have folded manipulator. We can activate it by two handles in the rear part. First of all, we can 
turn it then we can operate this junction manually and also this ball joint and here we have worm gear and the second handle allows to elevate or lower this boom it's a bit fragile a big backlash in the worm reducer but it's playable at least for demonstration yeah, and it takes some time to elevate the boom because of two reducers here the model has a lot of mm, small details and we have here a very interesting function the model has two modes of steering the first mod is usual steering for wheel steering it works not perfectly but I think it's okay for demonstration and the second mod is a zero turning radius pretty cool and how it works in the center we have three uh, angular gears and all the secret is that in the first steering mode these two gears or knobs rotate in opposite direction and when we switch to the second mode these two knobs rotate in the same direction so wheels will be transferred to the second steering mode and when we are in this mode we can't rotate this handle because here there is a limiter and this is a usual steering mode but when we go to the second mode now we can't rotate uh, this axis so also the model has very interesting suspension I will try to, to test it on a rough terrain but I'm not sure because of a lot of backlashes in the system for example if I steer and now I just hold uh, the handle and I can rotate this wheel as I want a lot of backlash in the system and we have one degree of freedom here very cool universal joint here and also all this bogey can be tilted and here we have a junction it looks very cool and I believe it works very efficiently on Mars but I'm not sure about the LEGO model and welcome to Mars and to be honest I don't know how to play with this model uh, the first thing that you want to do you want to grab this handle and to roll the model but this handle pops out immediately I don't know why they decided to do um, access without stop because it's much better just to roll the model by grabbing the access if I add the gear it pops out it's unclear how to play with this model because if you will roll the model like this wheels will turn in unpredictable way and to be honest I'm a bit scared sometimes they seem to be broken and in a static position steering system literally doesn't work I'm trying to turn the wheels but on such a non ideally flat surface wheels just don't turn I apply a lot of force now and nothing happens we can check that 
everything is okay yeah it works but only in ideal conditions the second mod you actually no you can of course switch to it but you also should apply a lot of force and yeah you can see how this bogus roll it looks terrible so i think this is completely shelf model and it's a really bad idea to play on some uneven surface but of course suspension works you can see this bogey but yeah it's very inconvenient to play with this model so i have very mixed feelings about this set on the one hand it has a lot of interesting functions and mechanisms but not all of them work in a proper way of course we can play with this boom but the most interesting feature the steering system works not so well unfortunately maybe because of this pretty small scale for such a complex mechanism but the final result yeah i cannot say that it works well and it's not a playable model the best what you can do with this model just to put it on, yeah, on your shelf but it looks cool yeah it has a lot of details unfortunately um, instruction book has no explanations no details about the real rover and this is a big um, frustration for me because i assembled very cool uh, space related lego sets like saturn 5 or uh, nasa space shuttle and maybe some others and these sets have a lot of interesting information a lot of photos and some facts about the real machines i can say and i estimated that this space related set also will have some interesting information but i even don't know if it's still on earth or maybe only on blueprints or maybe it is already on mars yeah i know that it's already on mars but you will not find this information in this set so i hope you enjoyed this video please share your thoughts about this set below the video it's very interesting for me what do you think about this set and that's all for today thanks for watching and see you next time bye